Hey yo, yo, what's up, what's up? This throwback, I'm Sean, my man Black co-host and shit. He ain't been here in a minute, but it's wild though. Every time he on it, my numbers be better. So <laughs> I'll be like, yo, Black, you gotta come do a show, man. My numbers be like double, triple when you on the show. I don't know. I think they like the chocolate brothers. They they be hating on us. Paper brown, uh, us brown skin brothers. They See, be like that the chalk. That's that Jim Crow shit. Right? <laughs> Yo, you a funny nigga. You right, you right, you right. <laughs> we all one color. Word, word. Don't but, let them um, divide us. Mm -hmm. Don't. See that? And that's what they do. They try to figure out how to divide us. House right. nigga feel nigga, and we fall into that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You right, you right. <sighs> let, let me, let me. I back realize that in their eyes, we all niggas. It don't matter if you a light nigga, a dark nigga, you That's still a, a nigga, rich That's nigga, a poor fact. nigga. That's a fact. Unless you tap, it depends on how you tap dancing now. Now if you a tap dancer. Nah, you still a nigga, you just a accepted nigga. Yeah, tap dancing, accepted <laughs> nigga. Yeah, because as soon as you, it's time to pull a plug on you like Terry Crews, they going to get you and let you be in the wind. But, um, so, you know, I was feeling a little kind of way the other day. I was in my bag because I spent all morning doing something I don't normally do. And, um... And y'all gonna understand why I'm dressed the way I'm dressed. Cause you know, normally I be on some humble, cool out shit. You know, on some regular shit, right? So, the other day I'm online and it's a group, A, American Descendants of Slaves. And then you got, um, so they, one lady started a, a, a thing out there and then that pop made other groups pop up and all of these the different groups in other areas is pressing them for reparations, which I support. You know what I mean? You know, I've been talking about reparations, did two or three shows on it, right? So you got this individual, um, Talib Kweli, or Kweli, Talib. Talib Kweli. Yeah, that guy, right? So he don't like this group because of the one lady out there in California or whatever that started. Individual like, personal differences. I don't care. He could be right. He could be right that she, whatever she is, but that done spawned a, a whole little movement and they rock it. So why is this guy talking about he want to kill a group? He want to stop the movement. This is a dude that made mad money off of this particular group of people. And so you online hating on them. And then when I say something, the first response, and I ain't come at him wrong. The first, fuck you, nigga. Fuck you, pussy ass nigga. I ain't your slave. That's the first thing you got out your mouth, boy? So, oh, man. So, so hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We saying, Talib Kweli, you know, conscious, righteous brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. For the black people. Yeah. Couldn't be civil in an argument with another civilized black man and had to resort to calling you a nigga and saying, I'm not your slave. What the hell does that even have to do with the topic of a conversation about trying to get something done for black people? Because that's what the group is for. Mm -hmm. They for the furtherment of trying to better us as a... Even if we never get it. Even if we never get it. This is the... this Martin Luther King had a dream. <laughs> it got to start somewhere. So you mean to tell me... He gonna, you taking up for the movement, trying to let him know, brother, we all need to get aboard the movement. And he had the nerve to turn around and say, fuck you, nigga. I'm not your so slave. That's what he said, son. Please explain this, Talib. Explain what the fuck you mean by that. Please. I was so heated. I had to go see my niece, T Tina. Shout out to Tina. I had to go see her, Daniel. And I'm in there. They they smoking cigarettes. We smoking with them cigarettes. And they know I, I couldn't breathe. I, yo, I was stressed, man. I was stressed, man. I was stressed out, man. I was stressed so out. So finish telling them what happened. Ah, uh, so we argued, we went back and forth for about an a hour and a half, two hours. He, yo, it got so serious to where I had to throw my flag up on him. I don't even throw my flag up. I said, bro, I live, I be in, when I'm in Brooklyn, I'm on Howard and Chauncey. You can meet me and we could discuss this anytime you want to discuss it like grown men. That response took from him gets, oh, you what you erectile dysfunction, you couldn't handle New York, you couldn't, bro, you, man, you don't know me, man, you do not know me like that, bro, you do not know me like that, and I'm not threatening you, 
I don't threaten people. I'm not threatening you. But I'm saying this. If we was to meet, you would have to show me a level of respect that you did not show me on Twitter. That's what I'm telling you. I guarantee that. But I don't care about your money. I don't care about plaques. I don't care about your one million, your followers that you got on Twitter that was hitting me up with all of that dumb nonsense. I don't care about none of that. I never cared about none of that. I met all types of people that got more money, been more successful than you are. So I'm telling you, if I run down on you, you're going to have to explain why you were so disrespectful in your little computer twits. I'm telling you, you're going to have to do that. Continue, Bless. Nah, nah, I'm just saying, I'm going to touch on something, right? Social media has made it where... And I'm not going to say social media. I'm going to say the users of social media. Because you can't blame an entity because that is what it is. Like a project building. It's a building, right? But the people in it is what make it what it is. The people are the ones who, you know. so I agree that, how they operate. Right. So with that being said, we just going to talk about the users of social media. They made it where... Dudes can say, people can say whatever they want without no filter <coughs> and bash you, say whatever, do whatever because there is no consequence because they know more than likely they'll never even meet up with that person. They'll never even see that person in life. Oh, they And it's got to the point to where when you see that person in real life, it's like, oh, we cool. It's some Twitter beef. It's like some back in the day breakdancing shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Nah, nah. Crazy. But then he said about my book, oh, you not an author yet? I said, like, he trying to question my accomplishments. Who am I to question him? Because I ain't did nothing with my life. I ain't accomplished nothing. I ain't never did nothing with my life. Okay, Twitter boy. So, then I say, well, I got the little book coming out. What, you ain't an author? You ain't, I got, you, show proof. What? Oh, my, dude, I got a book. I wrote a book. It's printing right now. When it's out, you'll be able to see it. All my accomplishments, you could check. You could Google me too, bro. Sherwin Holloway. You could Google me. You're going to see chefs and all of that, feather. You're going to see my shit, bro. So I'm telling you, one day, bro, you going to... Don't be surprised. One day, if I'm touching you on your shoulder like, Yo, what up, bro? How you doing? This BK Sherm. I'm telling you. You going, you going have to, you going have to show me some respect, bro. That's all I'm saying. And I heard from what I heard, you done had this type of situation with plenty other people where you done whatever the case. And I don't get like this, but I'm telling you, you was mad out of pocket, bro. Hey, you yo, was mad out of pocket. But ain't something from Brooklyn? Hey, man, what, what? You, you was telling, you got, nah, that sign from Park Slope, right? Park Slopes. Tell them about Park Slope. Park Slopes, where it's, it's more predominantly upper white, snooty black people and Jews. That's all I live out there. I remember where, where um, Clinton, that's right when Spike was trying to make Clinton um, change the little vibe of Clinton Hills down there and all that. So don't don't talk. It was really, really comfortable over there, bro. And you know how he could afford to stay in Park Slope? Oh, yeah. What? What? Oh, oh his yeah. His mother was a professor and his dad was a uh, goddamn uh, going, uh, 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 uh. A professor too, right? Nah, he was a uh, administrator at the colleges. Oh, yeah. So you was around, buddy. You never had to really get out. You don't know nothing. Man, you don't know people, man, like that, man. You don't know, man. He used to chill with his cousins from Marcy. <laughs> Shout out to Marcy. Like I said, man, and I was talking to one of my peoples, man. He was like, oh, he's respected. He's respected. I seen him hugging Bill Clinton. He hugging Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton with the crime bill. And all that. Super predators. Hey, 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 I got one. So what you think? F f fuck that clown boy now. We ain't gonna do the whole show about that boy. But look, hey, what you think about um, Jay-Z and the whole Super Bowl brouhaha? Where everybody like, 
Kappa Nick is mad at Jay cause he sat down and Jay Jay um Jay done pissed off white people cause he sat down. Hey, I ain't got <laughs> I ain't got, like my nigga, shout out, shout out to the homie Capo, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> Harlem, Jimmy, Jim Jones, and my dog said it the best, you know what I'm saying, Billy, but that's another, that's a, that's another topic of discussion, but my dog said it the best, I ain't got to stand up just to kneel with you, you know, you get what that mean, no, I don't kidding. have to do what you do in order to support the movement. Oh, I see what Jay was saying. You know, we are we trying to do the same goal. We just got two different opinions on how to get about doing it. That's what Jay Jay kind of said today. I seen he said it like after Kaepernick came out and said, "Yo, I thought we was past um protesting though or kneeling though." Like the question Jay doing it, so Jay shot back with, "Yo, you know, I'm I'm we got two different ways of doing what we doing, bro." So just just you have Malcolm. You had Martin. They both was on the path for the same cause, but we had it we had different we had different different ways. Martin Martin was nonviolent, nonviolent. You know what I'm saying? Martin was by any means necessary, we're gonna get this done. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Whether we gotta <laughs> do this, whether we talk it out <laughs> like gentlemen, or we can get on some gangster Gangsta shit. shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gangsta so shit. and it's funny because I didn't even see the interview with Jay. Mm -hmm. But when I'm quoted the Jim Jones quote, it's the same thing. I don't have to stand just to kneel with you. Mm -hmm. We don't have to be doing the same thing in order to be on the movement. Okay. Your way of the moving the movement is different from mine. You know why? Jay is because true. we come from different backgrounds. Kaepernick come from money. Jay had to grind to get his money. This is a fact. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's, it's, it's always going to be a different approach. Now, when, I ain't going to lie, when I was in the Army, after a while, I didn't, you know, you supposed to put your hand on your heart and all that shit, so now nah, I do the silent protest. You learn a way to do it where you showing that you not really down with it, but, you know what I'm saying, you can't, it, 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 you know, I, I, me personally, I've been there where I don't know if I would have necessarily nailed, but I, I've been in a situation where I might sit down. If they standing up or something, I'm sitting down or whatever. So I, I feel it. I feel it. But what? Oh, okay. Here you go. What about Puffy and Mace? With the Puff pay that man. You think Puff should give up the um? My my son said Puff ain't going. To... <laughs> Puff, come on, come on, Puff. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, hold on. I'm going, go, man. I gotta get real jersey on him. You know Let's what go. I'm saying? Shout out to the Brick City. You know. Okay. So we gonna do this, Puff. Please, brother. You done made so much money off that man. So much. Millions. Get that man his joints. Let him let him take that and build the do whatever he gonna do with it. Even if he just hold him in the closet and don't make no bread off of him, except for whatever's coming to him for whatever, whatever. But get that to that man. You you let the locks go. <laughs> Free mace. I'm gonna get a free mace shirt, man. <laughs> free mace. Yeah, you let the locks go. And those you're like, shout out to y'all them niggas, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You you did the same thing to them, then you let them go. Look, look, we let mace go. We gonna have to put them. You kill Craig Mac. We ain't see we, who who know where Craig Mac at? Craig dead, bro. Yeah, Craig died last year. Word. Yeah, son. Damn, my fault <laughs> rest in peace. Damn. I'm sorry. Puff, you did it. <laughs> you wrong, son. No, he didn't. Sorry, nah, it's son. a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> they know we got it. Look, they just saw us burning. They yeah, know we yeah. bullshit. <laughs> they don't know what's in that cup. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they Yo, you, you a mess. <laughs> but you seen to we're total. See, Puff, come on, man. Give, just let him have it, man. Just let him have he it. He's joking, he joking. Puff, we know you ain't ain't ain't, ain't doing no, no no shit like that. We know that. Yeah, no, we know what you're doing. Pay you the man. Funny. You a funny guy, bro. Pay the man, Puff. <laughs> Brother Love. Pay the man. <laughs> okay, okay, I got one. So here go one. So even, I think we spend too much time, like Black was saying, um, focusing on the differences between what he into, how he thinking, all this. I think we start, we need to really start 
trying to be more supportive of each other. Because if you can't tell for just how they attack Kobe Bryant, they would they bring up Kobe Bryant and his um stuff negative stuff was in the paper more than Harvey Weinstein right now. You only see one or two. This guy done allegedly raped like 80 women. And you don't never hardly see that. But you hear about us all the time. Gail King still was doing the, the thing this morning with Lisa Leslie trying to press her to get her to say something negative about Kobe. Can I talk to my black people? All right, go ahead, go ahead, Bliss. Can I talk to my black people? You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. We, it's funny we was on Brooklyn shit today. And we didn't even know we was going to do this because I got on my Spike Lee joint, you know, yeah. the Brooklyn, you know what I'm saying, 40 acres in the mural, we want reparations. <laughs> <laughs> but look, yeah. check this, right? Let me talk to my black people. What my brother Sharon was explaining to y'all was what we had, what has been done to us 400 plus years ago. I think we have almost 500 years of oppression oh, now from man, slavery, all that. Man, but crazy. what they did was brainwashed us. Mm -hmm. They brainwashed us to never come together, to never have unity. Mm -hmm. That's why they showed us separation between classes. They used what was known as a caste system on us. So what you had was not realizing that we all niggas, you had some niggas that thought they was better than some niggas because they had certain jobs. Mm -hmm. The niggas in the house thought they was better than the field niggas because they had a better job. Yeah, ate better. They you're right. So slept comfortable. What that was was the institutionalization of the mind. They brainwashed us. Willie Lynch was real. So a lot of us still carry that slave mentality to where we automatically hate on the next black man or black woman or anybody within our race, and we pull them down instead of bigging them up. Oh, entertainment could become big right now. And instead of us plotting each other, we're going to try to find the flaws in this person. Oh, that's not a real street nigga. He didn't do this. I remember Nicki Minaj came on the scene. She was, everybody loved her. Mm -hmm. But as everybody loved her, more for his hated on her too. Yeah, oh, her ass ain't real. This ain't this. She ain't this. Like, we always find a way to tear us each other down. Because it's the institutionalization of the mind. So you have to break that cycle. You have to stop. You have to figure out. First, you have to know that they brainwashed you. You know what I'm saying? Then you have to figure out how you're going to drain yourself of that and rebuild it with the proper knowledge yourself. And once we all deprogram ourselves and have the proper knowledge of self of who we are as a people... And stop believing his story. Because it ain't our story. It's his story. You know what I'm saying? His version of what happened. We gonna become better. But, hey, black people understand we was brainwashed over 400 and something years ago. Yeah, And until crazy. you break the cycle, just like general, generational wealth, guess what you got? Generational institutionalization of the mind. This is a fact. And so that's why it was really funny to me, because it go to my next thing, like, I don't care what the group is or whatever. If you don't agree, you don't say nothing, man. That that was my whole thing with the with the, with, with the homeboy. It was like, yo, man, if you don't want to say nothing supportive, like, why are you just saying anything anyway? Then I had, oh, you don't know who she is. And like, I don't spoke. Like, why should I even care about who she is? Like, it ain't about We her. don't know who you is. <laughs> I'm like, it, it what? I supposed to go off because you putting shit up online negative about somebody. I supposed to look at them negative. So what it was was you were supporting her movement and not going with his movement. So, yeah. but that's what we program to yeah. do. That's the I told you the programming. We are programmed to do that. And you done made money off the people you trying to hold back. That's the other part. Because ain't nobody support his movement. Then he run for all the men or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But why we even back on that dude? But look, check. What's the next topic of discussion? Okay, let's go. Show. Okay, here go one. I've been seeing a lot of stuff lately. When make what what's her name? I I don't even normally be talking about these type of pit things, but I seen where it's like male and female 
black men and black women, when they get a white woman or a white man, they celebrate and like, oh Lord, all black men or oh Lord, all black women was this and this and that. Like, yo, if you want to date, well, whoever you want to date, that's cool. Do y'all. The part that gets me is like, why I gotta be slander towards black people, male or female, whenever y'all decide to get with the white person? That's the part because, that gets me. Because, because, oh, yeah. the programming. See, I told y'all we was brainwashed over 400 and something years ago. And just like generational wealth, you have generational institutionalization of the mind. I got, I got. So, okay. hold up. Check this, right? Think about it. Back in the day, a lot of those people thought to live and act white or to be with a white person. You really went that deep or you went down that deep. Let's, let's keep it real. This we this is throwback and we here to do what? Keep it real. So it's straight up. Like, so if that was happening back then, guess what's that still happening? We you still think, thinking that you, if you think that's still it though, bro? Come on, they we, gonna say you wildin'? I don't give a hell. Whatever, okay. Whatever. You I ain't, still the, think I ain't that. the first black man to wild. Okay. So, but think about it, bro. We feel like if we keep up with the white people, or once we, and I hate saying white people, but if you, we whatever. Here it is. Caucasian. Caucasian. But. There you go. We feel like if we keep up with them and keep up with what they say we supposed to do as a people and we try to base ourselves and our life based on the measuring stick that they have for us. The Chi the Asians, right? They don't worry about who say they can do what and what and whatever. They do what it is that is accustomed to them and that they know is gonna do right by their people, right? The Hispanics, Latinos, they do the same thing. They don't worry about, yeah, they come over here and work for them, but we all work for them. No, nah, they be turning white, though, the Latinos sometimes. They be acting real different in the, in the workplace. You know, in the I workplace, mean, they get different on you. But, <laughs> they get lit. But I, it they, ain't even about how they act in the yeah, workplace. Okay. We're talking about yeah, that, their them. community of their people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They stick together. The yeah. Jews, they do what? Stick together. They all take that, our money and spend it in between them. The <laughs> Africans come over here and do what? Stick together pat, pr and, mm -hmm. and prosper. Mm -hmm. The Arabs come over here and do what? Stick, stick together yeah. and prosper. Mm -hmm. Everybody else. All these races come over. You know why? You think you but, but yeah. I, you know why? You know why the only race we as African Americans don't stick together? Why? Because we was brainwashed. Those other races won't brainwash. <laughs> so I was going to say, do you think, too, you know, it's a little bit because a lot of them coming from a country where they were successful. They come you know what from, I mean? Or come, they own a little country, like they, um, whether it's India right. or China, Japan. So they got a little bit more self pride. And Do you want to know what that backs back down into? Right. Everything you just explained, you're right. It backs back down into the brainwashing. brainwashing. We were brainwashed to believe that this is our country. Mm -hmm. So let's take that thought another step higher. Let's go higher with the thought. So if we already know these things and we could see these things intellectually and we are woke and we know that these things exist out there, we'll all say we do. So why we still can't stop them, bro? Because we are brainwashed. Golly. So because, even if we want to, we can't? Because you know why? In 100% of our community, we're going to take 100% total of our community. You got 85% that are dumb, deaf, and blind that don't even understand what's going on. Then you got a 10%, you know what I'm saying? They know what's going on, but they use it and pervert it for their own benefit. Then you got a 5% of the people you know what I'm saying? That I don't think understand it's even the truth no more. You think it's more? You I mean, think it's, you think it's still five? You I'm just saying. Think it's the five. numbers still hold weight though? I, I'm just saying on a basic <laughs> scale. I don't even know. I never even looked into it. I'm saying. But I'm just saying on a basic scale. You got. It's not. It's and it's it's so less of us that know and want to make a change and make a difference that. 
the other the other ninety five percent outweigh us. They ain't trying to see what we trying to see because eighty five percent of them don't believe that this shit is happening. Then ten percent of them know this shit is happening, but they gonna exploit the eighty five percent and make them believe that the five percent is crazy and don't know what they talking about. We was brainwashed. So uh, this was the question I was the the thought I had. So that being said, like, what do y'all think the numbers is now? Like, like next time I talk to some of my people I talk to on the phone, I'm gonna ask you what y'all think the numbers is. I mean, maybe that'd be the next show. What I got back, like, the, like, like if we was breaking it down, like if it was 85, 10, and 5, like, do y'all think those numbers still hold true? Or do you think it's a little bit different now? Like, say maybe instead of the 5%, it's a little bit more like 10%. Got it. I think it's. I think when you really look at the population of that, just the, just the. I'm gonna touch on something else too, cause this sparked yeah. a thought. Yeah. Just the African American community, right? Just us alone, right? If you just look at us and the numbers of our population, whatever it may be, I don't know the specific numbers, and you break it down on a hundred percent scale, it's still pretty much the same, because. Bro, a lot of these dudes out here is running around talking about they woke and they really daydreaming. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? They 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 woke and they conscious and it's like I I I know a brother that's kind of close to me and he made me look at him different, right? Mm. Son, like he let a white man call him boy, but he was supposed to be a righteous man. And I ain't saying that we was in a place of business. And I ain't supposed. I ain't saying that you motherfucker. You you just fly off the handle and go crazy, right? You got but that. that's where it comes into being a civilized black man. You have to know how to approach the situation and check it without causing a scene or a distraction or having to get outside of character where you resort to some type of violence. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to learn how to handle situations. Now, with some situations that you got to go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, and, and pop off and do what you do. True. We ain't saying you don't. We all know that happens. But in this certain situation, you have to know how to handle your battles. So you have to be able to, to defuse this. Like, yo, let me tell you something. I'm not a boy. Let's get that understood. I'm a man just like you are. And clearly, you know that I'm a man because I'm old enough to be here and work in this establishment. So let's read that. Hey, and you have to put them in their place. Because if not, guess what? It's still, it's they, you're going to go lower and lower on the total pole. And the fact that I got to even put the energy out for you to respect me as a man. Now, you already offended me. Because I shouldn't have to approach you like that, like, like if, like, no matter who it is, if, if I, if we set up a business of meeting and then you not there at the time that we supposed to get there, and then we leave, and then you call me and you dis disrespectful and rude, just going off my voice or whatever the case may be, just and, and you're white and I'm listening, like, yo, you gotta put them in their place. The same situation I'm, yo, yo, get, yo, yo, get off my phone with that. <laughs> Word up. Like, you, like, you can't let but, them, if you let them talk to you and handle you, they will talk to you and handle you. But, and exactly, I can't, you couldn't put it no better. I'm going to say this though, right? Let's take it back on to our side. Mm -hmm. The brother that allowed this to happen, he's part of that 10% mm -hmm. because he preaches to be a righteous brother. Mm -hmm. But he's... When it comes time to act righteous and stand upright as a civilized black man, you still let you still let, you know, things like that happen. And it's not all about him being a white man because you're not a boy. And even if you are a white man saying it to me, it makes it even more derogatory. But 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 now let's let's look at that 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 um situation and let's apply it to other situations. When people are faced with, no matter what you say, you are Christian, Muslim, 
whatever, righteous, conscious. It when it's time, you could say it. It's easy to say it when ain't nothing going wrong, ain't nothing to challenge you. It's the it's when you do it when it's the challenge that make you true to what you are. If you walk in it every day and then when it's every time you come with a hard situation, you ah, slip and then you go, ah, oh, that's all right, I slipped this hard. That's when you that's when you really about what you say you about. And that's when your shit is really truly on the right path. Or or then you just talking out your ass. I think. I'm gonna tell you one you thing. You can't be righteous letting no white man call you boy though. Come on, bro. Picture a panther letting a white boy call him boy. <laughs> Picture, All I'm saying you is... You know what I'm saying? If every a situation... If you're a civilized black man and you claim to be righteous and you claim to know the truth about yourself and this, that, and the third and this is who you want to be and this is who you want to raise your kids to be. You know what I'm saying? You have to stand upright. Yeah. I'm not saying put yourself in a position to where you, you compromise what you have going on. Because you do have a family. You do have kids. We are older. We are grown men now. You have, we have, that's the thing. We got to start putting our responsibilities before the bullshit. I, but, got, I got one. Here goes a story. This is a funny story. My brother, man, shout out to um, Custom Quotables. Man, we're going to put an order in and get, get some of them shirts. What, who you said, free makes? We're going to get some free made shirts made up. Custom quotables, word up. But anyway, um, yo, so, man, remember this one? Hill and Bowles. Remember Hill and Bowles? When they ain't want to give me my check at, and, and shit after they let me go, my check and all that, and I grabbed that, 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 that white boy up in the jar, right? Man, the co-sign. Uh, uh, 20, what, what, I was 26 at the time, man? Uh, you gonna give me my money. I was about to choke that crap. Man was like, yo, Sherm, you gonna kill him. You gonna kill him, Sherm. Let him go. <laughs> what? Man had to pull me off of me. He was turning the color that hot sauce. Word the blood. I was like, oh, oh. Man was like, sure, you gonna kill him, man. You gonna kill him. Then he fought me. I still end up getting unemployment, though. Word up, though. Yo, I'm telling you, man. I, even in my military story, in the, um, in the army, white boy called me nigga, punched him in the face. In the army. And told the, 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 the sergeant that was talking about he was gonna give me an Article 15. You can do what you do, but if he say nigga again, I'm gonna punch him dead in his face again. But, and they probably be like, yo, they're racist. They're black racist. Are. Mm. It ain't about that. Mm. But right is right, wrong is wrong. And we understand that here where we at, it's a, it's an injustice. And it's a, any, it's a, it's not equality. It's not. It's not. It's not equality. And we all know this. And people be like, oh, he's talking, he's, whatever. I'm going to say my opinion. And my opinion is until... We are all in this country. I don't... First off, as black people are treated equal. No, we not. Until the... Credit black, score. Until the African jobs, Americans in this houses. country are treated fairly and equally. Legal system. As well as all the other races. Till we become... Educational system. <laughs> if we become a country that where everybody is equal, Right? The blacks is equal to the whites. The whites is equal to the Mexicans. The Mexicans is equal to the Asians. And everybody has equal equality. We'll be a totally better place. Yeah. Because now everybody can get along and coincide. Right. And I ain't saying it ain't going to be no bullshit, we no need violence. need reparations, though. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. We need our reparations, though. Word Definitely. Up. We need that. Y'all need to figure out a kind of... And 40 acres and a mule. Y'all got to figure out a, a way where, where um, based on age, based on age and lineage. Age and lineage, but look, and that determines they, you, yeah. Didn't they have the joint where they did offer the reparations, but it was like in land, it couldn't be... Yeah, so we want money now. It, let's start off with like $2.5 trillion and start dispersing money. Y'all got the money. Y'all got the money. I don't care.
Because it ain't like really money. Y'all, y'all going to do is hit some buttons and put zeros in people's accounts. And they going to take them zeros and buy stuff. That's what they going to do. So just give up the money, man. Just give it up. Reparations, bro. I don't know if this might spark an idea and some person with more money than me come along and do it, right? Mm -hmm. But if you could figure out a way to, let's say the whole everything, the, the story, the tales we heard about it being land, they offered it, it was land out way <laughs> in the Midwest that you couldn't farm and do nothing mm -hmm. on this, that, and the third. Mm -hmm. Let's say all that stuff was true and this, that, and the third, and you can trace it back and you can say, yo, my great great granddaddy, whatever, 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 mm -hmm. and you can get that land, right? Mm hmm. Bro. Because. Oh, I see what you mean. Instead of taking the, so I see where you going. Like, say, if you came, but but it's too many of us now. Not they right. have, unless they got, but that I think that's what we need. We need where we get like eight states of the lower half, eight nine states, and, and be like, yo, we get to do whatever we want to do in our states, type of thing. I ain't gonna say what it. They ain't gonna let us do just whatever. But, what you mean? We we got a, our own government and everything going okay, on. Okay, I see like, what you're saying. We like, got our own. Yeah, we, we like we sell. like Israel. Black Wall Street. No, yeah, no. But look, we like Palestine and Israel over there. We gonna coexist over this motherfucker. Put now Trump could put a wall up on white America. They already got a wall up. Where? In Mexico, bro. No, nah, I mean no. Once we get our states, then we could put a big wall up across. In the middle of the United States. Man, they ain't going for that shit, man. <laughs> think about it. I have to go to war for that shit. Man. No, yeah, man. Yeah, man. They, no. You think they just going to put up a big... Listen, but they... While we all been sitting here watching the smoke and mirrors, they been building a wall on the Mexican border. They built it? Oh, the, it, the army building it, right? Bro. I think the God, army... All of us say Google it. Don't, don't take... Don't say Black Toby... Black. Whatever. <laughs> Go find research. That's what we need to start doing as a people. Research. I'm going to look into that one. I'm going to look into Research. Find out. But, hey, it's a wall going it's up. Wall. And we ain't even know it. Because we saw a word about the impeachment. Word, watch the soap opera. Watch, watch, watch the soap opera. Some word. bullshit. So, but, yo, yo, we've been on for a minute. So, yo, we're going to get out of here, yo. But I wanted to just say, yo, homeboy. <laughs> this my show. I'm Big Sure. That's black, man. We holler, man.